hey guys welcome back this Java video tutorial shows you how to handle a dangling else problem actually there is a very simple solution and I will show you what it is in a bit okay but first let me discuss this simple program okay the idea here is that this message right here this message is displayed on screen if the value of x and the value of y are greater than 5 okay and this message down here is displayed if x is not greater than 5 okay so first let me assign values to x and y that are greater than 5 okay so let's start with the first if now this boolean expression here this if condition here returns true because 6 which is the value of x is actually greater than 5 so what happens is it goes inside the body and uh, right here there is another if the inner if so this is nested if right meaning if inside if so what is inside if what is the inner if uh, condition the condition is y greater than 5 which actually returns true because y is equal to 6 okay and 6 is greater than 5 and so this statement here is executed so when I run this code I would say I would see the uh, the message x and y are greater than 5 so just to make sure let's run it and voila I was right right x and y are greater than 5 but what if I change the value of 6 to 3 for example so I did not change the value of 6 it is still equal to 6 I, I didn't change the value of x rather it's still equal to 6 and so let's go back so if the computer if this this program is run the first if condition which is x greater than 5 still returns true because 6 is greater than 5 but if statement inside it's uh, inside that if is evaluated next but the problem is y is not greater than 5 anymore y is equal to 3 this time so this returns false and and therefore this will be evaluated it, it will not be executed rather sorry so do you think if this returns false this else will be executed yes you're right so the rule is the else is for the nearest if okay so what is nearer to this else this inner if or this outer if of course the nearer it's closer to this else so therefore since y is equal to 3 and 3 is not greater than 5 so this boolean expression will return false and therefore this will not be executed and the else one will be the one that will be executed the, the body of the else I mean will be executed which displays the message x is less than or equal to 5 now to show you that I was right uh, there you go x is less than or equal to 5 it doesn't make sense you know why x is equal to 3 and it is not less than or equal to 5 so how to fix this simple problem now we can solve this problem just by using curly braces we have to tell the computer that this else is for this outer f not for the inner f because if this else is for this inner f there is a logic error there is a logical error going on so to correct the error this else must be for the outer f 
And to do that, to tell the computer that this else is for the outer if, we can we just simply use a pair of curly braces. So in other words, this inner if body is for this if. So I just put this inside the curly braces for the first or for the outer if. And the else will be executed, will be evaluated, will be uh, executed by the computer if this if uh, returns, if this condition returns false. So, you may write another pair of curly braces for the else. Make it a good habit, you know, make it a habit. Uh, use curly braces, okay? Make it a habit. So, if you want, you may also put this system out print ln inside the curly braces for this if. So just by using pairs of curly braces, this simple code is now much, much clearer. Okay? Easy to understand. Before there were no curly braces, I, I, we thought that uh, this else is for the outer if. Well, in fact, the else is for the inner if because, you know, that's how it works. That's how if statement works. The else is for the nearest if. Okay? It's not for the outer. It's this inner if statement. So just by uh, adding curly braces, now the computer knows that this else is for the outer if. Okay? Now let's find out if it is now working correctly. Oops, you know what? Because this uh, outer if condition returns true. What if I change it to a lower value, let's say 1? Okay, so again, the first if Boolean expression is evaluated and it returns false because 1 is not greater than 5. So in other words, the body will not be executed okay so it goes to the else to, and it will uh, execute the the body which will, uh, which displays x is less than or equal to 5 let's find out if this is working this time exactly so x which is equal to 1 is less than or equal to 5 correct so remember when you have this Later on, if you do this, remember to use curly braces to make your code much, much clearer, easier to read, easier to debug, okay? It makes your program more readable. I hope uh, this would help you in so many ways, okay? Till next time. Bye-bye.